afternoon. My name is Eric Febvre and I'm the Professor of Veterinary Infectious Diseases at the Institute of Infection and Global Health at the University of Liverpool. Um, I'm physically based at the International Livestock Research Institute in Nairobi in Kenya and I'm the principal investigator on the ESEI, that's Environmental and Social Ecology of Human Infectious Diseases Initiative, a grant that's funded by the UK Research Councils and managed by the MRC, the Medical Research Council. My research team is on Twitter. Our handle is at Zoonotic Disease. And um, we use this as a medium to share information um, and thoughts from our group on a number of issues relating to the work that we do, to the papers that we publish, our important findings, um, other people's findings that relate to our work, important conferences that we're going to, meetings that we're organising, um, and so on. And it effectively is a public face for, and a, a, a dynamic public face for the work that we do in our research team. It links very closely to the more static information that we provide on our group website, which is www.zoonotic-diseases.org. Um, but Twitter is, is uh, much more flexible than a website in being able to present all, all types of information and um, up-to-date information in a, in a regular sort of way. So in, in many ways it replaces the latest news section on our website, but it's more than that. It's a way that, in which we can share, um, share thoughts and, and more, more informal information than we would otherwise do on our website. My research team uh, doesn't use, really use other forms of social media officially. Uh, I, as, a, as an individual, am on LinkedIn, and I know that several members of the research team are on Facebook, but Facebook uh, and LinkedIn and so on are not part of the, the official public face that we present. And indeed, our Twitter account is an account uh, which presents really the work of our group. So although I do much of the tweeting, it's not just me, and it certainly isn't a Twitter account that presents my personal life. It's a Twitter account that relates to the work that we do professionally. The way in which we use Twitter has evolved as we've become more confident as a group with the medium, and also as our, our follower base has grown. So, for example, we now follow and are followed by many of our collaborators, uh, as well as the institutions that we work with, which may have also official Twitter accounts. So, for example, the International Livestock Research Institute, where I'm based, or the Institute of Infection and Global Health in Liverpool, um, may be interested in something that we've tweeted and retweeted. So, while I have a, or, or while our team currently has around 200 or so followers, those other institutions may have hundreds more or thousands of followers to which they retweet that information, which means that very quickly something that we post can spread very fast to many, many people, and that's an extremely powerful thing. Um, our funders also follow our activities. I'm glad to say the MRC comms handle follow us, and we, of course, follow them to keep up to date with what's going on at the MRC, and it's a lovely way for them to follow the work that their funded scientists uh, are doing. Um, but it does uh, imply some degree of responsibility. We, we, we have a responsibility to accurately portray uh, the work that we're doing um, at all levels, in the field, in the lab, and so on. And um, I think it's a very nice way also for people who are interested in science to see a bit behind the scenes of what goes on um, in a scientific research group. So because we are able to tweet from mobile platforms like a phone or an iPad, for example, we're able to take, take those things to the field, take a quick, sh quick shot of, of somebody collecting a sample or, or working on something in the field and immediately put that on Twitter and be able to say, look, we're doing some interesting work today. We don't have any results for you, but this is what we do today. And you know, stay interested in our, in our research because hopefully we're doing great things. And, and that's, a, that's a really nice thing, a, a nice, nice informal way of communicating with people. 